In anticipation of Juneteenth, Texans legend Cecil Shorts traveled to Galveston to meet with Sam Collins, also known as Mr. Juneteenth, to learn more about the city that became known as the birthplace of Juneteenth. Collins took Shorts to five stops throughout Galveston, which in 1865 was the largest city in the state of Texas. The first was Pier 21 in the Middle Passage, the historical marker commemorating enslaved Africans in Galveston during the late 18th and early 19th centuries and the millions who perished during the Middle Passage. Here uh, at Pier 21 uh, in the harbor in Galveston is where uh, you know all the commercial business was done. And with regards to enslavement, the enslaved people were considered property. And that property was the most valuable asset of the owners in the South, even more valuable than land. The next stop was the Juneteenth historical marker. This was the site of the Union headquarters where General Order No. 3 was written and issued, transmitting the news of the Emancipation Proclamation to Texas residents, freeing all remaining enslaved people. The third stop was the U.S. Customs House, where a copy of General Order No. 3 was posted near the front door and a copy of the Emancipation Proclamation is displayed still today. Shorts then went to the Reedy Chapel and met Diane Henderson. The church was first established in 1848 and was the central place for enslaved people to gather in Galveston. The church has had a number of pastors, as I say, you know, that we moved annual conference. First was the Reverend M.M. M. Clark. The second one was Reverend Houston Reedy. The people liked him so much, they decided to name the church Reedy Chapel AME. As General Granger marched through Galveston spreading the news of the Emancipation Proclamation, Reedy Chapel is one of the last sites where he stopped. It was a place for one of the early Juneteenth celebrations where freed slaves marched from the county courthouse to the church. During the final stop, Shorts went to the Ashton Villas, which is the location of the official Juneteenth statue called the Legislator. It commemorates the date in which June 19 became a state holiday. It was passed in 1979, and the state holiday became official on January 1st, 1980. African Americans have contributed to every war uh, that has been fought in the United States. This is our home, this is our, our country, and if we're gonna save this home, we have to do the repair work to the foundation, we have to do the repair work to the structure so that it will be here for future generations. So I appreciate uh, y'all taking interest in the history and learning more of the story, and uh, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Well, we appreciate y'all. This is an awesome opportunity for us, for people back home, in Houston to understand better, uh, whoever's going to be watching this, to understand uh, our history. It's not just African American history, it's our history. And we talked about it history earlier. World history. Yeah. We talked about it earlier. It's, the truth is enough. The truth is enough. The truth is enough.